<laughs> you a cold brother, bro. Ah. You a cold brother. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video of Fair People in the World. We be three shots of Jack, you know, Walla, Rico, Scooby Groove over there. Today, uh, y'all heard about, you know, the, the stuff that's been surrounding with Cat Williams and all of that. And so this video that we got, that we found here today, basically just uh, a lady that's putting all the receipts in and saying that Cat wasn't lying. And so we just gonna check it out, just, you know, just, just to see, just to see what, you know, what, what kind of receipts they got to prove his point. So, you know, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Here we go likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help me god and the reason i had to come is because you've made a safe place for the truth to be told you gonna set the record straight are you kidding me you let ricky smiley sit here and you said out that mouth you stole friday after next the one i was in <laughs> you stole the show in friday after in friday after next yeah this man told you he had Cat Williams' role. He was gonna be Money Mike, Wait. and Cat Williams was gonna be fr was gonna be the Santa Claus. And somebody said, "No, we want you to play Mike, the uh, beaver ass Mike. Santa Claus." Right? Then. <laughs> yeah, because Cat Williams is gonna be the Santa Claus. Right. Now, let's three quick points. Three quick points. You mean in Hollywood they cast a five foot five black Santa Claus that weigh one hundred and forty five pounds? That's your story. He told you the story about when the movie came out. Where did he say he watched it? At home. Friday after next come out. I get my kids. Where are we going? We're going to the movies. We're going to see Friday after next. Right. But they didn't know I was in the theater. Right. He wasn't even at the premiere. Somebody in Hollywood, they switched off roles. You take this and he, what? And then, uh, and they switched it over. Right. That's I was audition number 201. 200 black comedians auditioned for the role of Money Mike with me. I, when I auditioned, I auditioned for Mighty Mike. Right. You're saying all 201. Why are saying Marty? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Marty. Marty Mike. <laughs> Marty Mike. Marty Mike. Marty Mike. Marty Mike. When I auditioned, I auditioned for Mighty Mike. Right. Yeah. You're saying all Mighty 200 Mike. <laughs> of you was auditioning yeah. and you had already had the role and had already shot the role in four days. It my role like in four days. Right. They shot all my stuff in four days. The truth of the matter is the Money Mike in the original script got raped in the bathroom. And that's what Ricky Smiley was okay with. You know, so when I went in there to audition, I'm at the toilet. Uh, when, when Cat Williams right. went to use the bathroom, right. that was, that was, that's the line I had to use to audition. I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? The big movie. Then I end up doing uh, First Sunday. Yep. Uh, <gasps> did he wear oh, a dress? Shoot, he was in yeah. the church, huh? Yeah, he had that purple dress on. Damn. Oh. That's a cold thing. You got to be a cold M effort. To put in your contract that the only way you're gonna work with the next man if this nigga wear a dress. That is crazy. Pimp the hell out that nigga. And boy. then what was his next movie? A First Sunday. Dress. Wow. With Cat F and Williams in there. That is crazy. Wearing a dress in period. You bet he did. It's in my contract. This is not even my church. I, I saw this on my space. All of the parents that. Oh. <laughs> you a cold brother, bro. Ah. You a cold brother. Damn. <laughs> he said, he want to work with me? <laughs> Nigga, put a dress on. <laughs> he said, because that's what you're best at is playing a woman. Bro, I couldn't remember it. Like, I was really trying to go through my memory. Your memory, I could not remember it. it is wild. Oh, damn. Bringing their babies down here to get baptized oh. without giving them a hot bath. Cedric did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams' joke? But Cat, I mean, Cat said you stole one of his jokes. Yeah. yeah. He said it don't line up. He was even talking about it don't even match up with no timelines. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018? <laughs> You 
you came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Doesn't Literally line up. The I, same this is a thing, televised bro. joke. Like, I, when he was saying that, bro, I was like, damn, what is he talking about? When somebody put that up, I was like, ooh. Yeah. I think he said in the interview, I think he said the only thing that was switched was. Cal Williams said it was a spaceship, and then he said it was like a Cadillac. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. He stole my whole flow. Yeah. Bar for bar! <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, someone else has stolen some of your material? Oh, that, that's a part of this business. Right. Like, Same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Oh, yeah, you'll need this. A whistle? Oh, Mark, I'm teaching music, not gym. Standard issue. Screaming for help only excites the kids. Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Hightower and I'm your new music teacher. These dudes lie. Cedric's sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms <laughs> off his stomach. This is, this is some internet shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look how he built though right now. Said you going out bad, brother. You is like six Hey, hey Seti. Yeah. Jesus. Seti, talk to me, Seti. Come on now. Walrus is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Walrus is crazy. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I ain't gonna right That's all I can say. So, you know. Sitting over here. Why I'm can't, not a movie star. Anybody that ever told you differently was a fat phase on liar. There's nobody. Fat on liar. A fat phase on Bro. A fat phase on liar is crazy. I'm going to start calling y'all that. Why you got to put phase on? <laughs> because phase on love said that Cat Williams is the most overrated comedian ever. Oh, really? And he this nigga's actually funny. Bro, he he's funny, but he was saying, like, it's a bunch of, he was like, he never starred in his own movie type stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, a bunch of, like, you, like, how he was putting it is Cat Williams, in his head, he is big, like, or was big, like, Kevin Hart. Mm. Kevin Hart got everything. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then he's like, oh, he'd be pumped. He got specials. He got comedy specials. But he was like, he only got one good special. He said it's only Pip Chronicles. Yeah. Pip Chronicles is fire, though. That's, 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 that's up there, like, top. Yeah. Top, top, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was like, ooh. Me in the business. Faison just called a straight. Faison said that getting a Netflix special is easy. I have 12 specials. Guess how many Faison got? Zero. Okay, but, but seriously, if you look at your career, have you done better with stand-up or acting? I'm, I have, you know, it's, it's almost time to retire. Okay. Uh, so, I, I I don't make any money. If you sign up for their program, you get what? It's time to retire. That had I don't make any money. That had nothing to do with nothing. Right. Yeah. It was. You're stand a fat up. phase on life. Right. <laughs> <laughs> skin. Weird face wife. That he said, what you get in Hollywood? This is what you sign up for. Light skin, weird face wife. Mm -hmm. All of them look alike to him. Really? Like, they look similar. Like, that's what he's saying. <laughs> and none of them ever do interviews or something like that, bro. Oh, yeah. Never do an interview. Oh, in man, Listen, in 20 years, won't do an interview. Nobody's ever talked to her, and that she's never been interviewed anywhere. And now, understand, I'm not talking about one person. What I just told you applies to seven people. How they all end up with that. That's part of what you get. Be the villain. Not the guy that raises black children and ain't never done a hard drug in his life and don't have no stories of doing nobody dirty. What was he a risk? He chose drugs. And, and they'll just go out and they'll lie. The, the industry doesn't mess with Cat because he didn't show up for the studio. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You fucked off promo shoots. 
You fucked off your promo fucking uh, trips that they had set up for you. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped fucking with you. Well, no studios have ever said that. Look at my IMDb. It will show you that no studio has ever lost money with me on the script. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand-up because he has seven TV shows. Don't Years later, I had, at one time, seven TV shows running concurrent on the air. Only problem is, when he stopped stand-up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. Years later, I had, at one time, seven TV shows running concurrent on the air. Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times. <laughs> you know, even before then, right. I've seen this guy 30 times. Like, dog, if you literally was that upset about, about it, it, like, dog, why you say, hey, yeah, yeah, why say you nothing? Say like, <laughs> and Cat didn't do, as I stand before you, Shannon, <laughs> I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said I was going to bust his ass. That's what I thought he was going to say. Oh, shoot. That was good. That was good. Holy I would have bust Cedric's stomach. It's <laughs> <laughs> the content because that's all you know me for is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. All, like, all my enemies all look the same in the eyes, whether it's Faison, Wanda, Aries, Spears, they all look like... Man, what you I remember you on the red... Yeah, look at that dark mark right here. Yeah, <laughs> they do. <laughs> no, let me say this dude is not funny as cat. Oh my gosh. You went on a radio interview. If I'm not mistaken, that's in Atlanta. Right. And you came on there with seemingly good intentions. And oh, she yeah. attacked you. It wasn't just that part. It was the is fact it, that before I go in there, oh. she has a conversation about, okay, now. I just want to talk to you because you just won an Emmy for the city of Atlanta, and this is in Atlanta, and they just want to hear about the Emmy and hear from you and to thank you for what you did putting the city on. Right. Okay. And we won't talk about your kids. We won't talk about jail. We're good at <gasps> telling us about what's going on in jail. Not the right one that Jones on. Get this inmate out of here. <laughs> and, you're, and you're big Turn in it prison. Down. And you're yes, big in prison. I've never been to prison. Uh, you have 19 felonies, times. no convictions. Yeah. Knock yeah. it off. Prison okay. and jail aren't the same. No, no, okay, no, 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 calm, calm no, 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 no cases. We ain't gonna talk about none of that. Right. And immediately gets in there and goes the opposite way. I said, seven. what they like? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I said, answering. what are they like? Did <laughs> Just you because think? you're a poor interviewer doesn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna say anything disrespectful to people that look like you. I'm, I'm, it's a very thin line. Down, Only one calm, of us has twelve dollars worth of jewelry on. I'm Great shout outs to <laughs> Forever Twenty One. Yeah. yeah. This collection. <laughs> They tried to kill me this same weekend, not in jokes, with a real gun in my real face on real camera. Understand I'm losing my life for participating in something that goes along with my job. Like, it's two comedians. What do you mean? Hmm. That she said it was going to be very professional. Oh, you want an Emmy? Congratulations. You put the city on. You own for the city. Yada, yada, yada. And now, did she mention anything about the Emmy on camera? I believe you saw the video <laughs> and you know. If, if, if you can't get your blood pressure down, you can't call me down. Whatever, whatever little mama. If your cholesterol is 600. Whatever, little mama. I'm little mama's baby daddy. No, you ain't class. Is that what you wanted to do? No. That she was out of her league when no. it came to... Because I she, didn't want to do any of it. I know you didn't want, I didn't to, want to, do any but once she took it there, you did you feel that you had to go there? Oh, you could where? You could have said, Wanda, I didn't come here for that. I just want to do the interview. I just want to talk about what happened. Oh, you misunderstand my job. My, jo my job is to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> my job is to be funny first. This has a learning experience. Most comedians don't get booed enough. Hmm. Think about this. You're stuck in traffic and the lights turn blue. <laughs> 
You got <laughs> mad out of me. I was in there like, I pay for this. Right. Like, I, I pay two hundred dollars on the damn seats. This, what, this is something to impress my woman. <laughs> right. Yeah, talk, talk about a blue traffic light. Yeah, baby, this, gonna be, got this gonna be funny. This gonna be funny. Maybe a different country? If anything. Maybe. Not here. But you telling me I go to a comedy club, you say your wife to come. Well, uh, imagine pulling up to a stoplight. No. It turns blue. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd have been like, Boo! <laughs> Boo this man! <laughs> said, yeah, I'll get booed or not. I ain't gonna lie. I never really heard a comedian get booed. No cap. I mean, have you been to a lot of comedy shows, though? Uh, no. Have you been to one? No, I I really would like to go though. I would really go to a comedy club. Kevin Hart. Fire. Uh, Last year, like this time, a little bit, maybe before or no, December or something like that. Fire. Yeah. The whole everybody was funny, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about I'm up in there. Like, I'm like the the whole laugh, bro. Like Bro, it was funny. It was funny. I was like, yeah, I definitely go back. Yeah, I wanna go to a car. I never been to one, but I definitely It was in LA. Okay. Yeah, we was at the uh no, it was L.A. County. I don't know where exactly. Mm. I think it was Anaheim. I think it was at the Barbara Honda. Mm. Uh, okay. Right on. Where, right on. Uh, the A's. Is it the A's? Lost in the A's, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, they... Not ain't the it Oakland A's. Angels. 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 Oh, yeah. That's the Oakland A's. The Oakland A's. Los Angeles A's. Yeah. I don't want to go on. I mean, this is how you end up with a Michael Blackson who's a real African doing a fake African accent. Okay, no, no. Save you, motherfuckers! <laughs> Happen. You know what? I mean, I'm not gonna send me a cat being like, you know. I love all this guy is mad at. I love all never knew that. Yeah. I didn't know that either. The accent was fake. Yeah. But he a real, real African? African? Yeah. Maybe. Is he not? But oh, he might not. Yeah. Like, oh, he was like raised here, probably. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. What? I really thought this nigga was straight off the damn boat. <laughs> off the boat. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shackles on his feet. You know? <laughs> Not this close. <laughs> Elbows, <laughs> ash. <laughs> Ankles bloody. Oh, my chain. God. Y'all going to be pissed at us, boy. But that's good, man. <laughs> that's good. Look. Shut up, you fucking suck us. You know what? I mean, I'm not going to send me a cat being like, that's you know. That's bad, bro. That's not good. Yeah, These guys mad at me. All I did was give him the best advice of his life. Remember, he was wearing dirty dashikis. Dashikis. And I told him he needed to dress to be in the position that he's trying to say that he's in. And if you're the African king of comedy, sir, there's actually comedians in Africa doing comedy. If you For the African king of comedy, ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Blackson. Got to put in some work. And these guys, they take my advice, they change their whole persona, and and then they hate me for it. And you know what? I mean, I'm not gonna send me and Cat been like you know, best friends or we're friends. But we're more like we've been always been like associates. Like we. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reckoning. 2024. <laughs> and never has sucked the penis. That was my only goal. I didn't want to get with a white woman because I was scared. She. Yeah, he said his only goal was to, uh, uh, to oh. go into the game and come out with a uh, with a virgin booty hole and never suck no penis. Respect. Yeah. Hell yeah. Because <laughs> some of y'all out here doing whatever it takes to get a dollar. What the hell ever? <laughs> and, and that ain't cool. Yeah. Bro, I've been hearing some wild stuff. Man. Bro. I've been hearing some wild stuff. I don't care, bro. Look, we can Baby. get a deal... They be in that right game. now, three hundred million, a hundred apiece. If it requires any homosexuality, any homosexuality, any, any dresses, any. Uh, putting me in a wig uh, Hell, as a woman, no. You, you ain't about to exploit me to have okay, me like no I'm, not for that. I'm just checking. I'm not dying in no movie. I'm not going to jail in no movie. I'm not playing no crackhead. I'm not playing no crackhead. I ain't no daddy, daddy in no movie. None of that. Let me be an energetic person up in the movie. That I want to be somebody best friend. I want the same career that Denzel Look, had. Guy with the mailbox. Yeah, there he <laughs> played every. But he said I listened to an interview with him, him. He got offered to play a guy. I want to say it was like his second or third movie or something like that. He got offered a guy. Uh, I offered a role to play a guy that like basically died like 10, 15 different ways, but came back to life every single time, mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, all you see 
He was like, all I can picture is myself with a with a rope around my my neck, you know, smiling like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He yeah. was like, but I had a conversation with, I think it was his manager or his, something like that. He was like, bro, um, the the first three four movies that you do is going to define your whole career for the rest of your life. Yeah, okay. So if you take a crackhead role, bro, they're going to see you as a crackhead, crackhead. for the rest for of your sure. life. Or you take that, you wearing a dress. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Martin Lawrence. When the last time Martin Lawrence had a big movie outside of Big Mama House? That's a fact. And I love Martin Lawrence. But I'm saying, like, after that, I don't... Or maybe Boy, Bad Boys. Like, two. I was about to say, say Bad Boys. But, but that's that was, way I mean, I, later. Was way that later, later or after? No, no, no Bad that. Boys 1 was, like, 99. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think so. Something like that. But Bad Boys 2 was, like, way later. I'm trying to think of some other big movies that Martin Lawrence... And no disrespect again. Like, I, right, I, love, right, right, right. I love Martin Lawrence, bro. But, like, I just couldn't do it. Yeah. And then, like, you know, Brandon T., Brandon T. Jackson. Brandon T. Jackson. Oh, the yeah. one that played uh, in Big Mama House 2. Yeah. Cat Williams. Um, Same well, thing. Yeah. Cat, Martin Lawrence had told Cat Williams, hey, let's do a movie together. And he was like, yeah, man, I'll do a movie with you, whatever you want. He said they had went on like a vacation or something like that. They came back and um, and Martin Lawrence was trying to get him to play in Big Mama House as the woman. He was like, you done lost your mind. He was basically. like, you better get Brandon T. Jackson for that. And that's what they did. They got Brandon T. Jackson. And, and Brandon T. Jackson, he said in an interview, he was like, Cat Williams told me not to do this movie. Yeah. He was like, I thought he was just, you know what I'm saying? I thought he was joking around, just kind of hating Heckling him. Yeah, but he, was yeah. Like, he did that movie. He said he wish he never did it. Yeah. 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 But bro, because they see you, at, they see you, they paint you in this light, and people they like, oh well, I'm just trying to get on. Like, no, you can't just be trying to get on because nah, yeah, if you, right, if you, right. bro, you can't be just taking any old type of roles, bro. That's like, a fact. Okay, when Messiah was doing his um, acting and modeling and stuff like that, they wanted him to play a role of a starving, hungry kid in Africa. No hell no. Nah. But they was going to pay him. I think it was like twenty four thousand dollars or something like that like initially you like damn bro that's a lot of money that can change my son's life you know what i'm saying as far as him being so young but i was like hell no i'm not about to have my son playing on starving hunger when there's kids out there that's really starving and hungry that can use this money Real yeah. talk. i'm not about to have my son acting like that knowing that he live in this nice house and you know what i'm saying all of this yeah, stuff like no, that's like, definitely uh, not. morals bro who said that um what's the old boy name nick Kennedy. Mm -hmm. he said that when he wish he never did he wish he did love don't cost thing after drumline or something like that he said because because of the sequence the way he did it mm -hmm. people only seen him as alvin as, oh, like as the, corny. Nerdy, the nerdy corny kid instead of seeing him as a real actor which is what he wanted to be 10k just hit 18k 20K, man no one was the 20k we two thousand away so make sure y'all hit that like Ooh. comment subscribe button we you know it. what i'm saying we we go. Go. Peace. say bye bye, bye.